And now it is my pleasure to welcome to the stage as we honor his parents with tonight's Lifetime Achievement Award, the son of President George H.W. and Barbara Bush, Neil Bush, an outstanding Houston citizen. Neil. City. My dad believed that service is a noble calling. And if he were here tonight, he would have sung the praises of Mayor Turner and all the mayors that were present here for getting their uniforms dirty, for, for pitching in and making a difference in this community. And apropos of tonight's gala, my father would have sung the praises of the mayors who have made Houston the best sports city in America. The entire Bush family is so very grateful uh, that Houston Sports Awards honors George and Barbara Bush tonight uh, with the Lifetime Achievement Award. They were political figures, yes, reached the highest levels in politics, but my mom and dad became known as sports fans, especially in their later years in Houston, Texas. They would be seen at the rodeo, at the Rockets games, at the Astros game. My mom and dad would sit right behind home plate, and you'd see if you're watching on television that little flock of silver hair just above the railing. <laughs> she was keeping score the old-fashioned way, kind of like when she did when my dad was a first baseman playing for the Yale Bulldogs. Um, they would be seen at the Houston Texans game, huge fans and admirers of the McNair family. Um, flipping the coin at midfield or hamming it up for the kiss cam. <laughs> so we Bushes are so honored by this incredible and awesome recognition. Now, to perform in memory of my amazing parents, it is my great pleasure to welcome to this stage the one and only Jack Ingram. Thank you all, God bless you. Hard to hug somebody who's not sure where you're going. <laughs> it's good to be here. I grew up in Houston, so uh, it's good to be here. Wrote this song about the moment before your head hits the pillow. Pray for all the things I need For faith and strength and to believe God in all that I don't know I pray I don't die alone When all the faith inside of me Crashing down and makes me bleed. You take the weight up off my chest. You hold me close against your breast. In a world of hurt, you're always there. You're the final word of my desperate. You're my amen. amen. You're my amen. I feel your breath and I can breathe. 
Look in your eyes and I can see I touch you and I take you in I kiss you and I'm born again In a world of hurt Always there You're the final word Of my desperate prayer You're my amen Amen You're my Always there, you're the final word of my desperate prayer. Yeah, in a world of hurt, you're always there, you're the final word of my desperate prayer. You're my. You're my amen, you're my amen. Keep it going. You're my amen, you're my amen, you're my amen. You're my amen. One more time. You're my amen. Amen. You're my amen. How about a hand for that choir? Thank you. Good evening to everyone gathered at the Houston Sports Awards. On behalf of the Bush family, thank you for honoring mom and dad. Barbara and George H.W. Bush were proud Houstonians, and they would have enjoyed being with you all tonight. They were never professional athletes, but they sure loved Houston sports teams. I know they admired many of you who are in the room, and you are kind to remember them with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Laura and I are sorry we can't be with you tonight but we send our best wishes for a wonderful event. Please welcome some of my nieces and nephews, Marshall, Lizzie, and Pierce, to accept this award for their Ganny and Gampy. May God bless you all. Joining us on stage for the presentation, the CEO of Lifetime, Barra McCrotty. Um, I don't think I can add anything that my dad or my uncle didn't say, but on behalf of my cousin Marshall and my sister Lizzie, um, you know, I'll just say this. My grandparents loved sports for the same reasons they loved Houston. Because Houston, just like sports, uh, is a city that celebrates diversity, that takes all kinds of different talents to make a great team, and if you try hard and you follow the rules to the point earlier, you're given a fair shot in this great city. And that's why, uh, you know, a Connecticut Yankee born guy ended his life being buried at one of the great universities, the Texas A&M. You always get an applause if you say Texas A&M, I realize. I, I went to UT, unfortunately UT fans are, all right, here we got some in there. Uh, but really, but really, Houston um, loved my grandparents, and my grandparents loved this great city. So thank you so much for this honor. It really means a lot to us.